WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we've got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. The Dow's up just slightly four points. S&P is down slightly three points. NASDAQ is off more than just slightly. It's off four-tenths percent, 44 points to the downside. Russell's trading to the upside. Semis are down nine points, about three-tenths. <coughs> Excuse me, four-tenths to the upside for the trannies. Gold is up 13 bucks. Silver's up 34 cents. Lights recruit back a buck 18. Natural gas trading down 10%. It's off 44 cents. Trading out of 402. 30 treasuries up one point. <coughs> Excuse me, one point and one tick. Trading out at 126.12. What does all this mean, Jelly Bean? Let's go take a look at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin in the upper left-hand corner with the ES Mini. The ES Mini just trading with inside its daily profile. It is bullish in structure. The center is at 38.78, 38.79. If price closes about 38.79, we should see a move up to 39.54. What's taking place this morning is price is tested and is held support. That's the bottom of that profile at 38.41. Spot volatilics is tinkering with the 50-day exponential moving average. That's currently printed at 23.21. Price is currently at 22.94. As long as price remains above that, below that level, well, that gives the advantage to the buyers. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ finding resistance at the center of its bear structured profile. So we know where the sellers are lined up. They're really between 11, uh, 150 and 11,280. U.S. dollar index, nice move earlier in the uh, day. Uh, what it was doing was it's testing its bearish structured daily profile. And that's between the range of 104.41 and 104.67. If price can close above 104.67, we'll have a change in trend in the U.S. dollar index. You can see that by those yellow diagonal arrows. Those are all identifying tops of daily profiles of which price is not closed above in quite some time. So close above that would most certainly give us a change in trend. We have a change in trend just yet? We do not. But we do have a TD9 count bottom price would need to take out 10287 in order to for that pattern to fail and suggest lower price goldilocks if you can close the day above 183380 it'll negate its td9 count top and that will suggest a further move higher with 1907 being a likely price target silver needs to close above 2452 to negate its roads momentum indicator top and if it does that then price is on its way to 2506 and most certainly higher lights read crude Trading above the top of its daily profile, it may want to target the 84.93 level. Natural Gas will take a look at that in detail during the Trader's Edge show. So stay tuned, folks. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one and certainly have a terrific 2020.